hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to extend our knowledge about live wire components so in our last video we saw how we can create components how we can and use the render method to use a blade file or inline components and a few things about the typical live wire component and to extend to that we will see how first of all we can pass data to the view layer of our component through different features for example we saw that any public property which is there inside our component is obviously accessible to it right now apart from that there is also another way we can send data first of all let me open up web.php create a new route and i'll use the to-do list component so we can see that the component is rendering but now if you want to really pass a data of to-dos why don't we do that so to-dos let's say it's a collection we you can even do an array doesn't really matter so id one task add new video let's just say two existing videos and maybe a third one research on native php this is something which is really a happening thing right now what like we used to do with blade files i can actually pass this data like so and ideally we should be able to get that data inside our view so now that we are passing the data let's try and render it so i'll come over here and in here let's do a simple for each like we would typically do inside a blade file so i have this for each loop i have a div and do remember it's a good practice to have a container div or something inside any loop so that it is easy for us to do a key thing which we are going to see very soon but before that let me refresh can you see these three things are rendering and as i said it is important that we also pass a key which is going to be unique this is helpful for live wire to know individual components and when there is a change in the data it is easy for live wire to re-render these components ideally now it should render if you look at the markup we have key one two three which is from the id and if you see this is the um, injected markup where uh, live wire is aware of these changes and whenever there is a data change it will re-render the thing exactly it needs to change okay so yeah this is how we are able to pass data through obviously the public properties that we saw right public title public body stuff like that and also we are able to pass data in the form of arrays to our view file with this format now one more important thing which we should look at is how we can bind certain data to certain form elements which is a very common requirement for that first of all i will open up my log file i'll keep it handy because we will need that okay i'll go to the blade file we'll create a form and let's just say we will have a label for title okay we will just add the title over here and we will have an input field type should be text id title and now comes the important part which is wire model equals title okay with this done if i refresh can you see the title is coming over here okay now as of now if i make any change 
nothing is going to happen. If I even enter, nothing is going to happen. However, we need to understand that the data is available. So, how do we get that data? Why don't we handle the submit of the form? So, using one more directive of Livewire, we can use wire submit and what this is going to represent is that when the form is submitted, Livewire is going to call this method. And this method should be inside our component. So why don't we add that? And maybe in here, what we will do is this title. Okay. We will log it just to understand what is happening. And now if I refresh, first let's, let me remove this question mark and hit refresh. Let me quickly check the code. So we have a log over here. The log file is okay. Is now empty. And if I do title is nice and we see log something like that. Can you see it is now visible over here? And also I can see that in my log, which basically means now it updated this public property. Okay. Why? Because that public property is binded to this input field. So when the form submit happens, right, when the handle submit is called, and I mean before that, because it's a model binding, it updates the value into the title field, uh, title variable. And when I'm submitting, this function is getting called, I am logging it. So for example, if I do something like this title equals Mr. And then this title, again, a very naive example, but we can potentially do this. So I will just hit refresh. And then if I do Amitav, can you see the title changes to Mr. Amitav? So that's what we can achieve using the submission. But then the hot reloading is not happening, right? If I am changing anything, it is not getting refreshed till I hit the enter. So the question is, okay, it did append that thing again. Now, how do we get it as a live thing? In here, I'll show you a quick change, which will give you that result. But then you should also know the pitfall of having that. So I'll again refresh. I'll change it. Can you see an update call was made? Now I will do Amitav Roy and it is updating the title on the fly. And the moment I hit enter, it adds the mister. But all of that came with a cost of making these many API calls. Now, if your application is not being used by too many people, then I would say that, you know, you can still get away with it. But if it's a busy application, you are making so many API calls. And hence, you need to take that decision whether you want that live kind of thing in here or you are fine not doing that. But this is how you can you know, bind a data property to an input field, have some live reloading, you know, get those magics in place. Yeah, basically access them inside your code as well. The last thing that I want to show you in here is binding of properties. By that, what I mean is, let's just say um, we were looking at the um, pa, 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 pa. this is the to do page, right? Why don't we add one more component? Maybe, um, live wire to do item. This should be fine. Okay. Now this is a simple component that we have. And let's just say we have a public property called name and we decide to print that name. Okay. So if I do something like keep a BR, a div and inside that live wire name is to do item. Is this inside the to do namespace? Yes. So I'll do to do dot this. Okay. And it should 
render or it didn't let me see um to do item name this is my item okay this is getting rendered so we are able to see this component inside our to-do list correct but what happened to the name well this is where we can pass data we can do something like Tav Roy and if I hit enter can you see that property is coming over here just to th make things a little more clear if I do an HR right so this is our additional component right if you see this is how we are passing the data Amit Roy, the name right to this secondary component which we have which is to do item and this is very similar to how if you have ever worked with react or view you know how you send data as props to child components right and that's the idea because if you have something like um and i'll just copy this and i will delete this part right and let's just assume that the task is being rendered as a child component which ideally should happen we can do something like this and now obviously i would like to show you one more thing which is right now if i hit enter if i refresh can you see it's a literal to do task what happened i mean i should have seen the actual data right but that's not happening i am seeing some gibberish text well the reason is because this is a data uh, or just say this is a variable we need to pass something like this and now it is entering the exact thing which we wanted because now it understands that it is not a string but it's actually a variable and that data is being passed so yeah that's about it guys that's how we can pass data we saw how you know we can use the input fields we we saw how wire model or you know, the binding works how the dot live property will give you a real time kind of an effect at the cost of network calls obviously and then how you can pass data to child components from parent component which is like what we call props they can be of type normal strings or they can be even variables which are being tracked inside the child component and you can attach behavior so yeah, that's about it guys if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel